Good morning traders, welcome back to Mexico City. Today I want to share with you the three best ways to add confidence to your strategy right now. So if right now your win rate is too low, or if your average win is too low again, you can do something to improve it, and that's what we'll talk about today. But first, I'm leaving Mexico City today to head to Puerto Vallarta. Looking forward to the beach and all of that good stuff. And here's what I thought, because I want to kind of work this morning, I'll head to the airport earlier. They say you can go there only 50 minutes before your flight, but I'll try to go there like three hours before just to work and be not interrupted there. So that's the plan for this morning. And let's go down the staircase and get to Uber. At the airport I had a good hour of work before that so that's pretty cool now I'm at the boarding gate as you notice a lot of sound and we kind of you see outside that's kind of painful there's like these things in the windows so not much to film around but always take the plane to Puerto Vallarta Awesome guys, I was just finishing to edit the video for today and I have this view was the back now but on the ocean. It's pretty cool. I would have to say this is a pretty cool place overall, right near the beach. And it, it just looks nice around, there's a bunch of mountains. Have a look at this. So how do you make your strategy more confident? I've got three tips for you, three things that really work well. First one is obvious, the other two ones might be less obvious. So the first thing you can do is you can try to decrease the reward to risk. So a lot of people get into trading, they hear the fact that they have to aim for 2 to 1 of reward to risk. That works until it doesn't work. Some strategies work great with that, some don't. And you need to understand what type of move you can expect with what you trade. And that is determined by the zones in the market, but also by kind of what you trade. So kind of the strategy you have. But one thing to remember here is that you cannot force the market to give you a profit. The probability of the market giving you what you want is like zero. It's not gonna happen, it's never gonna happen. So you better adjust and you better try to look back and analyze what is your best reward to risk. Is it 2 to 1, 1 to 1, 5 to 1? That only data can help you determine. Backtesting can help, but I still believe that live data of trade is better so you can kind of readjust over time. And with that being said, we're a few days after. I didn't follow up with that video before that. I want to finish with the last two tips that increase your confidence when you trade. Two very important ones. First one has to do with using multiple time frame. Some people can use it wrong sometimes. What you need to understand is that 
multiple time frame kind of bring a second confirmation, but not in the sense of looking for a perfect alignment. That is hardly gonna work. What you wanna do is kind of find a zone in the market that is arguably a place where price could reverse or could continue trending. And those places on higher time frame will be very useful to trade on lower time frame. That's kind of something I've started to use a few years back and it's really changed the whole way I was looking at things. I used to think at only one time frame, but then I would get in that time frame and have really bad results. But I was not thinking about what's happening above that. Like what's the general tendency? What do people do in, in this market? And if you don't do this, chances are that you're missing out on a very simple way of gaining high probability trades. The third way to get more confluence is very tricky. But let's say you've been practicing something for some time, you've understood the result, the results are bad, they are not what you expected. Try to take a step back and think about what you can remove. Because too many times you add things over time in your strategy, RSI, the Bonkers Band, the Candle Six, and we get to a point where it's like too much. And it's not that good, that high probability, and we get very few trades. But that's because you kind of now it down too much. So sometimes I had to kind of take things back and think about the basic scenario, like the basic strategy with only one indicator, one tool you look at and that sometimes will produce better result and then you can start to add a little bit more over time. But don't try to just combine and scram a bunch of things at the same place because that is not likely to work. Hope that makes sense now, three tips to increase your confluence and I mean what we have there right now is really awesome so far. It's just raining a lot, like, like it is now. But thanks guys for watching, I appreciate it. Comment below what you thought. As always, give a like on this video if you liked it today. And subscribe if it's not done yet. One, one more video like this almost every single day to bring you results and trading. And I'll catch you guys back here tomorrow. Ciao.